We thought that we should give you guys an update and the number one question that everybody is asking us right now and that everybody wants to know is are we pressing charges on our scammer? Do you want to answer it? <laughs> on our scammer. How, how did we even get here? I don't know. How did we get here? That is, that is a funny way to put it. On our scammer. On the person that scammed us. I don't think you guys are going to like this answer, but unfortunately we can't really talk about that. But by saying that, I think it should answer the question. Don't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so um, we can't talk about that. Everybody wants to know. Um, all I'm going to say is the video and our story got viewed by a lot of people. The good thing is the right people have seen our video and they've heard our story, yeah. they've reached out to us. All we're gonna say is it's in the hands of the right people. Is that good to say? That's perfect. Good job, you did it. Hold on. You know I'm putting that in there. <laughs> <laughs> you meanie. We're a struggle today. Yeah, a little bit. Next question. Kind of like what's going on with us, <laughs> you know, did this, did person, this, did this scammer stop us from adopting? Something that has surprised me is how positive we have stayed with how horrible the situation is. I feel like we're doing pretty good. We've lifted each other up. We've been there for each other. I think we each still have, thank you. We each still have our bad days, of course, but- More good days than bad days. More good days. days than bad, and I feel like we're staying really optimistic. We realize, obviously, the situation was really, really awful, and it still stings. It's still like a little bit of an open wound. Just knowing that that even happened is just wild. Are you eating my food? Can I have the rest? Sure. But I think we're doing pretty good, and I think that the um, we're not gonna let this affect us. We're gonna keep moving in a positive direction. We want to adopt. We know that when it's the right situation and the right baby, we it's gonna all be worth it. I think at this point, we're kind of just living our life, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't, and we are okay with that. We're putting it all in God's hands at this point. We know that the adoption world, it could take a long time. Right now, we're just praying for the right situation to arise for us. We also have a lot of good people in our corner. Yeah. We have a great um, consultant that is helping us navigate everything. That's been absolutely wonderful. We are working with some incredible agencies that are very ethical, very, um, they're very good at what We've they do. We've done a lot of research. We've done a lot yeah. of research and we're just, we're kind of been getting everything lined up and future looks good. Another thing that I saw, someone asked us, do you regret putting out the video or like telling your story? Do you not regret it? Not at all. Zero. Zero, not at all. Not at all. Obviously we received some hate from it, but- I Very, very little. Very though. little. I think that we received way more good than yes. bad. And the thing for us is we actually had multiple and I say multiple. This is what's crazy. Multiple people reach out to us from that video specifically who are also being scammed by this woman. And yeah. not only in adoption, but just in other, other scams, like other crazy scams. We're not going to go into detail yeah. because we can't really talk too much about that, but we've had multiple people reach out and it's been very wild. So I'm grateful that we were able to share that video and hopefully it's brought light yeah, to yeah. It's brought light to a lot of things. Another really cool thing actually is there was another family that was unfortunately talking to this same person and that, that was scamming all of us. And she saw our video, connected the dots, could tell by the pictures yeah. that we put that she was also being scammed by I her just as well. Can't even imagine. So at that point right there, it made the video all worth it 100%. Yeah. If we just helped one family, one person, not go through the same terrible situation that we went through, made it all worth it, 100%. There's so much to the story that is hard to put into a video. Like you guys, it's just- You guys yeah. saw like 5% of the whole story. It was two months of our lives put into 30 minutes. There are so many details, so many other things. So those of you going off yeah. on your wild assumptions, whatever, you just don't know. And it doesn't matter. Like the positive outweighs the small yeah. negative I do got. wanna say we received so much positive feedback and people who are we owe a lot lifting of people us up. A yeah. big thank you. 
So thank you so much if you were positive. We really do appreciate it. Some of the cool things that we've done over the past couple weeks to kind of take our mind off of things is Dallin went to the Indy 500. You wanna talk about that for a second? It was so cool. It was just an awesome experience. I went with a couple of buddies of mine. Gotta just, we gotta do some cool stuff over there. I bought some goats. I just bought another animal. An animal? No, I bought an animal! A new family member! Do you wanna see? What kind of animal? Guess, guess animal? first. Oh, never mind. No way. Is that a goat? Though? It's a baby goat! We bought goats. We have two baby goats right now, and they are they it's gonna sound crazy to you, but they really did fill a big hole in my heart. We are officially goat parents, so now we have three children. We have Banks Doggy, and <laughs> we have Gaston and Chip, the goats. We don't have any children. I know, we don't have any children. Um, but truly, the goats have filled a big hole in my heart. They make me so happy. Every day I go and visit them, I feed them alfalfa, I give them their little goat pellets, and I think they really do love me. I think it's because Bermuda, not alfalfa. Bermuda? Yeah, you should say you feed them hay. I feed them hay. <laughs> I just like saying the word alfalfa. <laughs> I forget which hay it is. I feed them alfalfa. You're turning yeah. country. I'm a country gal, what can I say? But they're adorable and we're super happy about the goats. And, and Bella also threw um, a baby shower for her friend, which looked incredible. Everything's coming together. We're doing the last minute touches. It's about to start. I added this cute little picture of them. We have a s'mores bar happening. This is where all the food's gonna be. And then this is how my cake turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. And Abby's here. Yeah, thanks guys so much. You this look so, so cute. Great. Thanks. And everybody else is here too. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, it's time to eat, I think. It was so fun. I'm so glad I got to do that. I was able to throw it with the help of Inside the Willow Tree, my friend, so that was super fun. We got to do all the decorations. I wanted it to be a cozy picnic vibe, and that was so much fun, and I'm so happy for Abby and baby boy coming soon. We haven't put out a video in a couple weeks, and we're gonna get back to posting fun, good, exciting videos. I'm excited to just like have some fun, uplifting content. We hope that we can just bring some joy to your day. I feel like even though we've been going through a really hard time, we still enjoy making these videos. We wanna bring joy to you guys. And we feel so grateful for this community because this community has really uplifted us in the hardest of times. The future is bright is what I'm trying to say. I feel like there's good things that are happening and we're staying focused on the positive and on our family and friends right now. So we have a lot of great things coming out soon and we're super excited for the future. So stay tuned for more videos from us. But if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We love you guys so much. Thanks for all the positive vibes and we'll see you in the next video.